Hello my angels. So I came back here to do a quick video because I originally made a review and I'm going to attach it to the end of this one. And I tried this lipstick and I did not like it at all. Like I was like, oh no, this is not for me. This looks like weird and Barbie pink. But now I put it on and I'm like, this looks amazing. But the difference is I have eye makeup on. I just put liner on the inside rim of my, that's all I ever do guys. I don't wear makeup. I'll put liner on the inside rim of my eyes. I'll put a lipstick on and on occasion I'll put blush. Hardly never ever in my whole life wear primer. Don't like it. I will wear a moisturizer, maybe a tinted moisturizer if, if I feel like I need it because my skin is dry, but I try not to do anything because I want my skin to breathe and I don't want to age prematurely. So I'm 43 years old. This is what I look like at 43. I don't know if you think that looks old or if I look young or whatever you think. But this is what I look like because I don't mess with my skin. So, and I don't tug on it. I don't put makeup. I don't have to remove anything. Like I just, that's it. So I do have a sunspot here on occasion. I will cover it up, but that's the only thing I'll try to cover up. I don't really ever have bags under my eyes because I don't work that hard. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I tried this on and I'm going to attach the video for you guys to see it. And I didn't like it. And I think I didn't like it because I didn't have the makeup on, the eye makeup on. I feel like this balances this and makes it look good because, and look at the, I'm going to look at the video again because I don't know if it looked like this or if it looks like this now. I love this color right now. This looks good. And I generally don't wear colors like this. It's very Barbie pink for me. So tell me what you think. Tell me if you like it. Tell, uh, this is number 272. I went on the Dior website. I can't find it on there. I went on Nordstrom. I can't find it. This might be a discontinued color. I will put the link of where I bought it from. They might have more, but I really like it. And I don't like pinks. You guys, I like fuchsias, but I'm not a pink fan. So tell me what you think. I'm actually going to keep this in my bag along with the other one that I got, which was like a, that was more of like a fuchsia. That was also a Dior color. It's called, hold on. I have it here in my eBay thing. So this particular one was the reason I bought it on eBay is because it was crazy inexpensive. These lipsticks are normally 45 to $40 on the Dior website and it's not on there right now. And I got it for 1163 and with tax, it was 1266. Yes. Thank you. Love it. Still have a Dior lipstick. Nobody knows when I bought it. $12 and 66 cents. I'm at peace with that. It's not on there, so it must be discontinued. Let me see if they have any more. Um, might as well, while I'm here for you. $21.95 each. You get to pick the color. Do you? Yeah, he has more than 10 available. So you'll be able to click the link if you like this color. It's called 272 Crush Matte. Obviously, you can't return it after you've tried it, but I do think it's a really pretty color. Then, I forgot what I was telling you that I was going to do. Oh, the other color that I picked which I fell in love with. I didn't like it at first again, but as the video progressed, I was like, Oh, I like it. I'll put the link for that video if I published it already below. And if I didn't, then I'm not. Um, and it is exuberant matte 787. It's a Rouge Dior lipstick, 787 exuberant matte. Let me just go. I'm already on the Christian Dior website here. So let me quickly go look to see if that's actually a color in the line. Because sometimes these things are, um, what's that thing called? Exclusives. They're not part of like the permanent line. So I'm on Dior right now. I just clicked on the link. I'm just waiting for it to load up. I better hurry up and get my, my charms in. I'm going to make sure I get it for today and tomorrow. Oh, that's weird. It won't let me look at 76 shades. I click on it. There it is. So let's click on the drop bar. And what is this? 787. It's not there. So I think this is one of the, yeah, this is one of the ones that are an exclusive. So I'm going to put the link for the video below. And even if I publish it later, I'll add it to this video. So you can see it's called exuberant matte. I mean, you could just look it up. I'll put the, I'll just go ahead and put the link to the actual item. So you could see the color. Um, but it's a very nice fuchsia. It kind of reminds me of YSL contrary fuchsia. I have a video of that one underneath, 
but it's not uh there's no purple in it it's more of like a hot neon pink it looks really nice it does so i'll go ahead and put the ysl video on there because i do love that one the contrary fuchsia by ysl oh my god i'm in love with that one i did get the psychedelic chili when you watch that video i ended up not liking it and giving it to my sister-in-law and then i bought another one that looked just like it but it's not the same number and i was like oh, how disappointing so i gave that one away to someone else but this one i actually am in love with 272 put the link below put the link for the other one that i got from christian dior that one was i think also like 10 bucks hold on no that one i paid 1788 plus tax and ended up being 1947 you know what? let me just show you a picture of it just so you get an idea so it's like that kind of like wild fuchsia it looks so good on at first i didn't like it but then it wore on me but i feel like I think with the colors I don't like, if I put on eye makeup, I actually like them. It just, it makes my face look different. And just watch any of my other videos, you'll see. So I think from now on, I am going to start putting eye makeup on because I do think it makes, it just brings a little bit more sophistication to the videos. But I'm going to go ahead and add the first review on there so you can see my initial reaction. And then you'll realize that like how different it looks without makeup. And then you'll understand why I didn't like it. And then I want your reaction like, oh, it does look better with eye makeup or you look like a different person or I still don't like that color on you or hmm, maybe I'll get it. You know, I want to know your thoughts on everything. All right. Bye. Hello, my angels. So some things came in the mail today. So there are about six products. One is a face base by Bobbi Brown and then five other lipsticks but I'm gonna do individual videos for them because I think my videos are just a little bit too long so I'll have long videos for the people that like the long videos and you want to know what's going on in my life and blah 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 I'm not wearing any makeup because I'm gonna do the lip thing now but I'm gonna keep the, I'm gonna try and keep the videos short for the people that don't want to to hear everything that's going on in my life okay so this one is by Christian Dior. It looks like this. It is called Rouge Dior Liquid 272 Crush Matte. I don't know if these colors are discontinued or if they're in the current line. Um, let me just open up eBay to show you how much I paid for it. eBay. My eBay purchases, and this is the Christian Dior tube. I paid eleven sixty three. That's ridiculous, you guys. Twelve sixty six with tax for a Christian Dior lipstick that you know is probably forty five dollars. Oh God, no. Oh Jesus Christ, no. I should have used a wand for this one, but I didn't. Mm -mm. That's a hard no for me. Unless the Nicki Minaj stuff comes back, like, it's matte. That's a nice formula. It feels good on the lips. I would actually buy this. It's nice. It went on kind of like a gloss, then it turned into a satin, and now it's a matte. I like the formulation. Not a big fan of the color. I don't know, you guys. What do you think? Okay, so I'm going to put on some makeup right now. No. Oh, because I think it would look better on a matte surface. But I have to make another video because I just bought the Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base. So I'm going to put that on first and then makeup over it and see how that looks. Actually, I'm going to do half with the face base and half without so you guys can see. Mm. I mean, some people are going to be like, what are you talking about? I love that color. It looks amazing on you, you know? Always. It always happens. I don't love it. And I'm really into the fuchsias, but I'm into the fuchsias that have a little bit more purple in them. This particular color is not doing it for me. It 
it's a very spring summer color. It's really nice, I think, on the right person or the right personality. I'd like your feedbacks if you guys think you like this or not on me. Because <laughs> it just doesn't feel like... You see my eyes. My eyes are like, what is going on in here? <laughs> my eyes show you exactly what I'm thinking, even though my face is like... Blah, 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 blah. My eyes are like... <laughs> Oh no. I was hoping it was going to be more of a fuchsia. I mean, I could mix this with a, I don't want to do that though. It's too much work. I'll give this to my brother's girlfriend. Okay. Uh, that's what I got for you guys. If you like my vibe, please subscribe. If you like my style, come back for a while. I'm trying to keep it short. This is really hard for me to make short videos, but I'm doing it for you. Okay. Bye. Hello my angels. So for the sake of showing you the color on my lips, this is the color, right? It's the 272. I'm going to put it on right now in real time so you guys can see. How different it looks cuz I went back and I looked at that video and I was like it looked very different <laughs> than the way it looks on my lips right now. Let it dry down for a second. Again, I, okay, you know what? Also, the hair is straight. So, you know, the interesting thing about being multicultural is some things look good with your hair curly. Like, I've, I've made videos on this. Some sunglasses look good with my hair curly, and some sunglasses look good with my hair straight. And I think it's the same thing with the lipsticks. This color looks great with my hair straight and the eyeliner, and then it doesn't look good with my hair curly and no eyeliner. I think even if I put the eyeliner, it wouldn't look good. Maybe because it's supposed to be like a Barbie pink and then this is more of like a Barbie look. I don't know. But tell me what you guys think because now I still like it with the eyeliner and the hair straight. But I did not like it when I saw it with the curly hair. What do you guys think?